Hello everybody, I'm Adam. And I'm Adi. And we are the Notorious AM Vintage. <laughs> Is that what we're calling ourselves now? Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Notorious AMV. <laughs> and why are we calling ourselves that? Well, we've... Uh, we've do we, got, got a, do we, we got a target on our back? We got a reputation. <laughs> we got a reputation. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to be known as the Notorious then, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, welcome everybody. We're going to be doing a video on what are we going to call on, this? On uh, Elvis. <laughs> this, this, you know, <laughs> some sometimes it's hard to come up with a title. But, uh, we have so many things to show yeah, you guys yeah. today. I, actually, everybody, this is like take take eight because we just <laughs> we couldn't get this intro right. But anyways, we right now it's working out. That's so right. we're just gonna go yeah, go with the floor yeah. and that's it, right? <laughs> yeah. This is uh, about uh, Elvis memorabilia, mainly from like 1956. But there's a few things from maybe the 60s and uh, and from the 70s, but uh, mainly 1956 Elvis memorabilia. Yeah, unless you find some new stuff that we throw in, so yeah. then we'll let you guys know. Who knows what we're going to come <laughs> up with. So, glad you guys can join us, so please stay tuned. Stay tuned. You know, girl, have you seen the Priscilla merch? Yeah. No, the lip balm. Yeah, girl, I'm trying to get some because you know what? It is the bomb. <laughs> yep. I know. No, I don't know. If I get the cherry one. Honey, honey, okay. honey, what you got to check this out. I... Check this out. What's going on? I can't believe it. Look at this. Look at this. What is Do you that? see what this is? No, what is it? I got special delivery from the collector's club. Gosh. It's so crazy because you know I got a meeting tonight. Tonight? Yeah, but they they got they sent me something special. This is weird, man. They don't send stuff like this to everybody, you know. Okay. Like maybe they're gonna make me the president. Oh, okay. I mean, I've been a member since two thousand and two. Yeah, you see my shirt, right, honey? Uh, yeah. Well, I gotta go read this. I'll be back. I'm going in the Jerry Lee room. Oh, okay. I'm on the phone. Hey, girl. I'm back. Sorry about that. So, yeah, you know, I'm got excited. Yeah, he got a letter from the what? I'm gonna have to call you back. Something's happening. Honey. Adam? Oh guys, this happened to what me. What happened? What's going on? Oh honey, look at this. No, I look at this. What is it? Tell me. What's going on? I've been in the collector's club since 2002. I know that. I'm a founding member. Okay, but what happened? What is the letter saying? They kicked me out. Why? Why do you think? What have we been doing? Uh, talking about Elvis? We've been on YouTube. We talked about Priscilla. What about her? I told everybody that I loved her. Oh. That I, I thought she was great and everything. Well, see, look what you get. I showed the photos of my meet and greet. Oh, that's what you get. <laughs> look what I did. Oh, gosh. Look at Are you serious? This was sealed. This is a collector's item. Are you drinking your 40-year-old liquor? That's how hurt I am over this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and take that ridiculous shirt off already. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. All right, why? I, I thought they were going to make me president. For, I'm a freaking founding member! Well, we get it. They want me to return my shirts and everything. Both of them. A tight shirt? I've had these shirts since 2002. I can see. Yeah, that's why it's so tight, man. I was 20 years old. <laughs> I'm out of here, man. I, I'm going to the bar. Where is he at? Gosh. Honey, is that you? I'm home, baby. Yeah, where? baby, I'm home. Where have you been? Oh, give me a second. Oh, honey. I didn't even go to the bar. Oh, gosh. I got halfway to the bar, you know. And I thought, yeah, I love that collector's club. But, you know, I, I love you more than that collector's club. And, and we got a video to do. We sure do. I'm God, waiting for you. God dom, dom it, or whatever they say down down there. God, God dom, dom it, dom it. <laughs> Gosh darn, darn it. I don't know what they say. I'm all tongue-tied, you know? Well, I had that shot of that Elvis 
whiskey, you know. You sure did. That was you didn't even yeah. drink. Yeah. Well, you know what? <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking doing that Elvis whiskey and then deciding to drive to the bar. So that that wasn't even a good idea. No, that so, wasn't even a good idea. That's why I came yeah. straight home. Okay, go ahead. And I said, you know what, we gotta do this video. Well, I gotta you, be responsible. Well, I kinda of figured you didn't go anywhere. You've been parked outside in the you didn't even drive anywhere. Well, in my in my mind I was driving all over the place. <laughs> You know, I was driving myself uh, so crazy. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, he didn't go anywhere. He didn't drive. Yeah, I, I didn't go anywhere. Parked in the yeah, I didn't go anywhere. I so wonder what you were doing. I was just thinking about everything, you know. I mean, <sighs> I joined that club in 2002. And, uh, yeah, so. well, that shirt was really tight. But, you know, <laughs> that was a tight shirt. It was very tight, wasn't it? And I'm going to tell you what. When I first bought those shirts in 2002, when I joined the Collectors Club, they weren't that tight. They weren't that tight. They weren't tight. And you know what? Even a few, like three years ago, they weren't even that tight. But for some reason, after I met Mari, my shirt started getting a little tighter. He's blaming me for so, like gaining weight, probably. I'm sure. He's, there's nothing yeah. wrong with them, but he's he's accusing me of, yeah, of, yeah. I used of to, feeding them I too used much. to be fine with just a bowl of cereal. But, you know, once Mari showed up, she's all, you know, what do you want to eat? What do you want? You know, well, you got to eat something. So... <laughs> Well, so me. now my shirt's tight. <laughs> my collector's club shirts Talk are tight. He told me, well, when I first met him, he had a six pack. And now he's telling me he doesn't no, have a six I, pack. Yeah, anymore. I don't have a six pack anymore. I got a keg. <laughs> it's, it's not it's not right, you know? <laughs> so, so, so many of these Elvis shirts that I used to wear, you know, it's just like And it's you know, my fault. I can't I can't like I don't wanna like have to get like a different size. <laughs> I wanna just get back into that. You can. I want to get back into my regular size. You will in the summer time. <laughs> so we uh, we're doing a, a video of Elvis memorabilia. Yeah, I'm actually excited for this collection uh, or this part of our collection because yeah. we have so many cool items that I don't think we we did video. I think we did videos on them, just probably like scanning through, uh, but not yeah, necessarily like, like, we, like we might have showed um, you know stuff really quickly. Yeah. So it's good to actually just do this video focusing on those. Yeah, there's um, some items. cool items here. And granted, he Adam probably has more items that are from the fifties through the seventies, but we thought we'd pick a, I guess several of them. So you can These get ones were us. easy to get to. Yes. You know, there's others that are like on the wall or, you know, like in a display cabinet, kind of hidden. But these ones were easy to get to. So. Yeah. So let's get started. You want to get started? Here. Yes. What did you want to show um, first? How about just some cool stuff from uh, 1956? Yes. Um, which I do. Well, for sure. Do you want to start with the buttons? I do. I like the, the We'll merch. start with the buttons because, <laughs> you know, these buttons kind of... Uh, I don't know if a lot of people knew about these buttons before the, the Baz Luhrmann movie came out. I hate Elvis. Huh? Yes, I hate Elvis. In my way of thinking, I love Elvis. That's an easy sell. Those who hate your son will do so, whether we profit from it or not. Well, the yeah. colonel, uh, you know what? He, uh, I, can't, I can't stand the man. Never liked him or right, whatever. Right. But at the same time, I have to admit that he was a business, a good <laughs> businessman. He was very smart. And he knew how to make money yeah. for Elvis. Like, there's up. no way. Who else would come up with the idea to... Uh, not just I like Elvis, but I hate Elvis. And you know, Elvis pressed the Enterprises, sold these buttons, and Elvis made money off of that. And you know what, Adam? Every time you we you, you see these buttons, I always think of the line that Austin Butler says in the film. Remember in Bass? <laughs> he likes the idea. <laughs> Remember because I think his mom Gladys was kind of like right. She didn't nervous. like. She didn't like it. She didn't like the fact that it said, I hate Elvis. And they kind of just spun around to where uh, Austin is actually <laughs> in agreement with the colonel. <laughs> what does he call? Does he call is this what he calls with genius or, <laughs> or something? something like that? Something yeah, to that yeah. effect. It's just, it's so cool to yeah. see that. But, uh, you know, I've had these for, for many years, long before the, the movie came out. Yeah. So, yeah, when, when they put that in the movie, I was, I was kind of happy about that i told you we need to start making butts for us <laughs> you say i hate yep, i love am vintage and i, I hate. hate am vintage 
<laughs> we could start wearing them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's I'm, see what people. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I think, I think, you know what? I think uh, we, we, might, hate on, on we might sell channels. both. We oh, might end up no. uh, making money on both. We're thinking you know? about doing merch already. So, yeah, yeah later yeah. on down the line, we're or, starting to do our, yeah. our own merch. Or maybe our, <laughs> our merch will just, like, sit in a, in a cardboard box, like, in, like in the corner of the room, you know? Who knows? And just pretend we're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing it. All right, so those were the buttons. Yeah, we have we got some more buttons I'm going to show real quick. Yes. But, uh, you know, I'm going to be standing up for, you know, a little bit of this video, so you're, my head's going to be cut off, you know. <laughs> so just look at what I'm showing you and look at Mari. Right? <laughs> look at me. <laughs> yeah, because if for those of you that are in the back that, that can't see, <laughs> this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is an owl. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you because I helped pay for it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Well, Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> no problem. Okay, this is a tiny little button. I'm going to try to hold it real close and hopefully you guys can see it. It's kind of hard to see. If it, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to throw a photo of it up. Is it the glare? Is it the light? No, it's just that it's so tiny. I'm going to throw a photo of it up. And you'll see how cool it is. It's just a little Elvis button, and it says Hound Dog. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, that's really cool. And then this one, of course, is really neat. I do like that one, because it actually changes. The flasher, yeah. It's, it's pretty nice. Goes from him uh, rocking and rolling to just... Uh, the portrait. The nice. portrait, yeah. Yeah, that's a good view right there. Let me show you the back. Where did you get that bed? Do you remember where you, you know what? It? I bought this at a flea market probably 20 years ago. <clears throat> All right, Mari. Did you get these? These oh, little things, I don't know what they are. Maybe they They're can... from the 50s, I'm, I'm pretty sure. They look like little records. They look like tiny little records. I don't know if anybody can see these. They look like little records. I'll try to throw a photo up. Maybe a, you can get a better view. At, at, the, at one point, it looked like coins, but they can't be coins. Yeah, and what are they? Can you see what it says? Let's see. Uh, don't Ask Me Why is on one of them. Okay, so yeah, they are little records. So that's an Elvis song, Don't Ask Me Why. And don't ask me why on, on both of them. It's so cute. I like these. <clears throat> very cool. Very cool. So, yeah, some cool buttons, right? Cool buttons. Um, <clears throat> next, how about a dog tag from the 50s? Now, Mari, this one used to be in a lot better condition. But I had a house fire years ago. So The infamous... The infamous house, house fire. fire. So... You can see the card is kind of discolored, and it used to be in plastic. The plastic melted off, um, but the Elvis dog tag, that's pretty cool. Yeah, after the uh, house fire, I found this in, in rubble, and I was, I was happy to find it. You had a lot of good items that kind of... Were destroyed. Yeah, I, let me show you something really cool that was that was melted in the fire right oh, here. Wow. This right here was completely melted in the fire, and that is a an Elvis Sun record right there. Yep, Mystery Train. Oh gosh, what's on the? Is that See the, what it looks B like. Side, B side? I mean, I I couldn't throw it away. I had to keep it. The B-side to Mystery Train, I forgot to remember to forget. Oh, gosh. But look how warped that Sun record is. That's a 78. Look at that thing. Oh, wow. But, yeah, the label stayed uh, pretty pretty good. The record melted, but the label looks pretty good. So, so Yeah, I lost so a few cool. good items in, cool. in that fire, but... Ah, That's just the way it goes, right? <clears throat> you do have other little tags. You want to see these other dog tags? Yes, yeah, since you're already showing them. Now, the tag. I'm not an Elvis uh, memorabilia expert. I'm not any kind of expert. 
but I'm pretty sure these dog tags are reproductions. I'm an Elvis fan. And uh, maybe you guys know like when these came out, I'm guessing probably in the 80s. Those are pretty neat, right? Those are cool. And everybody knows that, uh, you know, Elvis was in the army, so that's kind of cool, mm -hmm. you know. Those would be the, the real cool dog tags to have, you know, Elvis's dog, <laughs> dog tags. Gosh. What do you think? Oh, speaking of army Elvis, how about this right here, Mari? Oh, that's a nice one. I like that one. This is a uh, card. I think this was like a giveaway at the movie theater, I'm guessing, when King Creole came out. Such and a nice uh, picture. Yeah, and that's a photo of Elvis, his military photo. So yeah, that's really neat. Like a movie theater giveaway. Maybe they handed them out in the lobby or something like that. I'm not sure. Let us know. If, if you know where this originated, yeah. let us know. That's really neat. Speaking of giveaways, I don't know. I think that would be something nice to do sooner or later. Yeah. Thinking about giving something away. Yeah. We have, we have, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have a ton of stuff. So man, we're thinking about maybe doing something where we can do a giveaway. Yeah. And, uh, but we're, it's in the works, so please. Right. If you have any what what kind of so item kind would of be things? cool to give away? Yeah. Like a, a doll, maybe, or maybe a book. Uh huh. A movie. Mug. A mug. What What would be a cool item? Ornament. Something. Yeah. For, let us for know a giveaway. What would be nice for a giveaway. Be cool yeah. to get suggestions, and then we'll figure out yeah. how to promote it. Yeah. <laughs> the giveaway. You know. Because uh, giveaways are great. Because you know what? I love getting stuff. Yeah. But we know? also like giving. I mean, I like So, to you know, to, to get something. That yeah. would, you know. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. Getting to know everybody. And I want to ask everybody in the comments to please, I know I like your handles that you guys have, but there's a lot of like Alvis girls. There's a lot of like Alvis. You know, I, I, and I, we don't know who the person is. So please leave your names. I mean, it'd be yeah, nice yeah. to leave get your to name. know everyone. Yeah, these because so. the, the Elvis names kind of all. <laughs> There's a lot of Elvis, yeah. yeah I yeah. see a lot of Elvis handles, and they're pretty cool. But it's like I don't know who's who, and so it'd be nice to be able to address you correctly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, get to know you guys. Yeah. So what else do What's, we have? What do you think? How about a a hat? I like the hat. You like the hat? I do you like that? Let's do the hat. <laughs> How many times can we say hat? Right. <laughs> this is a really cool. Vintage Elvis hat. It's got, uh, look at Tutti Fruity. I want you, I need you, I love you. And there's the king right there, Elvis. Let's see. I hope I didn't just hear a yawn back there, Mari. <laughs> It's it's late, ladies it and gentlemen. It's late over here. We're doing this at like I don't know. It's probably past midnight. And normally I have energy, but I've stopped don't. drinking my, my <laughs> Coke, <laughs> my There's... Coca Cola. So <laughs> it's been like I haven't been really drinking that much caffeine lately. So it's probably why <laughs> I'm running on <laughs> empty. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really cool hat. Here's the. Uh, I do the like hat. I'm sorry, but I want to look good in that type of hat. I don't really look good in hats. <laughs> and is that a... a, a you look good a, in is your... Is uh, a unisex... Um, uh, is it a hat? Like Yeah, yeah. This was, this was like a unisex, we, okay. unisex hat. Okay. I think I've seen photos of Elvis wearing the hat. Yeah. yeah I, I'm sorry. I don't look good in hats. No, you look good in your, your winter hat, you know, with your little... Hello. You know, the little ball on the top. <laughs> yeah, I look like a little girl. <laughs> You know. Uh, never mind. We ain't going there. That's just a look sometimes, I guess, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next, okay. what do we have? Uh, how about... Uh, how about these how about things? These right here? Yeah. Those okay, we have a whole bunch of these, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I got a, I got stacks of these right here. Hold on. Maybe you could just show, like, a few of them. I will. I'm going to show a few. I'm going to... I don't even think I have like the whole set, but that's, I don't know. That's probably like 25 or 30 of them at least. Mm -hmm. 
But uh, these are the uh, Elvis cards from the 50s. Um, I think they came out in uh, 1956. Yeah, 56. Let me hold this one up right here. That's probably like, probably the coolest one. That's the famous pose from the uh, Elvis Presley album cover. And, uh, you know, these are all in a protective case. So they kind of hold a glare when you hold it up. So I'm going to, I'm going to throw uh, photos in. But yeah, these are really cool. And on the back, they have, uh, you know, fun facts about Elvis. I do like that. It's like little interviews. You know, asking Elvis how he got his start. These are cool, you know. I do like the colors. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Elvis was one of the first, like, celebrities like that to have their own, you know, trading card series yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, the colonel was smart, you know. He, he put Elvis's face on everything. He knew what to sell as merchandise. Merchandise. Your face on every conceivable object. <laughs> Yeah, and of course it was all tailored to the women, <laughs> right? Because yeah, I'm sure those. Are, I don't think any dudes were buying his his stuff at that I time. I mean, I would have been if I was a fan back then. Yeah, I would have had the hat. You know, I'd have been wearing the hat. Those were different times. Remember? Well, oh, hold on. Maybe I wouldn't have worn the hat. Hold <laughs> on. Yeah, I don't think I would have worn the hat. But I would have hung it on the wall. You know, at least. I just don't like. And I, I, I didn't like this hat, but I don't know if that's a good style. Like, why couldn't it have been like a cap or something? Wow, that was that was the look. It's something that the colonel probably wore. That was cool. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I could see the colonel wearing that. Um, how about a a couple cool books? Some books. Yeah, let's focus on the media. Yeah, yeah. These are all books that uh, came out during Elvis's lifetime. You know. Uh, let's do the first one right here. This is neat. Right here. Operation Elvis. Who's the author? Uh, Alan Levy. Yeah. What happens when the selective service and celebrity systems collide? Oh, wow. <laughs> so there's a, a book all about Elvis going into the army. Oh, gosh. And, what year was uh, this book? Let's see. Let me look in here. I'm guessing 1958. Yep, 1958. Yeah. Oh, actually, 1960. So that came out in 1960, the year Elvis got out of the army. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like the artwork on there. With Elvis. Yeah. And the girls going crazy. Of course. Yeah. And this guy here kind of looks like the colonel. <laughs> it probably is him. <laughs> so. That's exciting. This book here. You know what's cool about this? This is a scholastic book. So, uh. It's from 1971. 1971. If you were a, a kid in school and you were going to order Scholastic, maybe this is what you got. Yeah, learn about Elvis in the early 70s. That's pretty cool. So cool. It's an awesome book. Meet Elvis Presley. Yeah. All right. Sixty one. I'm not sure if it's sixty one or fifty eight. <clears throat> uh sixty-one. And uh this is the Wild in the Country paperback. And uh, that's a movie that we're gonna watch pretty soon. We're gonna do a review of. That's uh one of Elvis's dramas. It's a pretty good movie. Wild in the Country. <laughs> Do you have a magazine? Yeah. A rose grows wild in the country, Mari. But uh, anyways, <laughs> here's a cool magazine from the 50s. This thing's pretty neat. I've had this a long time. It's usually in plastic, but 
I took it out of the plastic for this video. It's a really nice picture on the back, like that. Yeah, it's really neat. He looks so young there. And it's got some cool, like, photos and advertisements. Check out this cool advertisement. It's for a photo play with Elvis in it. Oh, gosh. You know, photo play was, uh, I don't know if it's still around. It used to be a pretty popular magazine. You can tell he was so young in this time. He looks really young. Here's another ad on the cool on the back. It's pretty neat. Yeah, well, look at how much the magazine was. 25 cents at the bottom. Is that what it says? It's right there. Oh, oh no, 25 cents, yeah. And then look, there's a little uh, little piece about Elvis. I think that's when he was, uh, they when they thought they, he was going to be in the Rainmaker. I like that look. It says it has more than 100 pictures. It's the Presley's complete life story uh, from Memphis to TV. And then Elvis's first yeah. screen test, though. So yeah, it's triple cool. dynamo. Pretty I like cool. That. Yeah. So that's really neat. <clears throat> and then uh, we were talking about Elvis in the Army. Mm -hmm. We tried to hold this up without a glare. Now, I got this magazine from a uh, guy that had a restaurant. And this was hanging in the window, so it's a little sun faded. Mm. But, uh, yeah, that's a cool cover. It is. It's really nice. I'm not sure what year this is from. I'm... Oh, 1958. Yeah. So that probably came out right when Elvis was uh, inducted in the Army. Mm. Gosh, 1958. It's so long ago. <laughs> 1958. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Just saying the year is just so long. I was, you know, <clears throat> drinking Coca-Cola from a bottle, you know. Cruising around, you know, just Coca living life, you know. Coca-Cola, Pepsi. Coca-Cola, man. <laughs> well, you know, I was drinking Pepsi, but, you know, sometimes they didn't have it, so I drank Coca-Cola, <laughs> you know. I had sideburns down to there, you know. People thought I was a, a, a freak, man. They thought, they thought I was a squirrel. So, they said, <laughs> get him, you know. As long as it's not beaver. <laughs> well, <laughs> I heard of somebody that was buried in him. <laughs> but ne never mind, never mind. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> back to the uh, video. Anyways, uh, how about something that's uh, not authentic? It's not from 56, but uh, it's from the 80s. But they made these in, in 56. This is a, a reproduction. There we go. That's a good angle to hold it at. It's got that cool Elvis uh, from the album cover again. This is a cool glass. Again, this one here is a reproduction of one that they made in the 50s. And it's got these records that go around it with uh, different Elvis songs on it. That thing's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I like it. I could probably drink some of my, uh, no. my decanters. I could no. pour deca some of the Elvis decanter <laughs> in there, Mari. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. I mean... Uh, Come on, I mean, you let a guy live, for Pete's sake. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm <clears> fine. You're somewhere on the floor or something. No, it's okay. Yeah, that's all right. You know, we got soft carpeting. But anyways. We forgot to show the TV guy. We didn't show the TV guy. I don't think we did. Yeah, this thing's cool. This is the Elvis, uh, when he got out of the army and was on the Frank Sinatra show. There's little Frank Sinatra back there. That's a cool TV guide cover. Yeah. You know, uh, that's one person we really we really don't talk about, but we are fans of. Yeah, we like old blue eyes. Oh, we do. But, uh, you know, I have probably, I have almost all of the Elvis TV guides, but I don't have the one from 56. We're on so, the hunt for that one. Yeah, we're on the hunt for that one. Yes. I think we showed all of the, uh, like, magazines and books. How about these? These are neat, though. Yeah, I like those. We keep talking about the Elvis Presley album. 
And that's the uh, the 45 edition. This thing's pretty neat. I like those. It opens up. I'll show you the back. Hold on. Make sure these records are... They don't fall out. There's the back. I always kind of like with collecting, I always like the 45s, probably a little bit more than the albums. Why? Why is that? It just, I like the size. The size, yeah. You know, I like how they look. That one's cool. It's cool. But I'll, let me show you this one. It looks the same, but the color is a little bit different. And so is the back, obviously. And then the backs. Just not, yeah. Let me show you the back. The different graphics. Is, yeah. The layout's different. Well, this one is full of advertisements for different albums. And this one, they just show Elvis. Those are pretty neat. I like those. Yeah, those are really neat. All right. Moving on, right, Mari? Yeah, moving moving on. on. What do we got? How about this? Yes. <laughs> we didn't show this, right? Do you know what this is? It's going to have a glare in it, probably. I'll I'll put some photos in it, if it does. That's a Christmas card sent from Graceland in 1961. Oh, gosh. It was sent to... Do you see what that name says right there? Bobby Lynn Birchfield, oh, wow. president of the Elvis Presley Fan Club. Bobby Lynn Birchfield. Does anybody know Bobby Lynn? Because this was her <laughs> Christmas card sent from Graceland oh, gosh. in 1961. Can you imagine receiving there, something from Graceland? There's the postmark, 1961. And uh, Bobby Lynn. That's so cool. That's awesome. So had it been his cousins that were doing all the <laughs> the ladies that we saw in the film? <laughs> What's that? Is, or you think those are the cousins that were working in the offices of Graceland? The cousins. His cousins. Working in Elvis's the... cousins. Yeah. Remember, remember the movie Priscilla? Yeah. You yeah, saw yeah. that he had his cousins there in the yeah, office. Yeah. Do you, you think know, they were part of the Hey, you know what? <laughs> it could have been anybody, you know? Maybe it was uh <laughs> Forgot. Did you forget about? <laughs> I forgot about Priscilla. He didn't, he didn't care about that movie. No, I forgot and about I Priscilla. didn't either. But I, I just remember those details yeah. that I don't know Vernon who, I don't supposedly know. kicked Priscilla out because the cousins. Yeah, there was a yeah. scene in Priscilla. So for those that don't care about the movie, the only reason why I remember was because Vernon actually gets mad at Priscilla for interrupting. The, yeah, the, ladies, the work. The work. Yeah, they're supposed to be doing work. And, and so you know. that's what I'm thinking. Were they the ones that were like? Hey, man. Dealing with the Vernon, don't play. You know, like when, when you're supposed to be working, you got to be working. But uh, oh, I don't know who I don't know who put this in the mail. You I'm, know? I'm curious. Was yeah. it was it Aunt Delta? I don't know who it was. You know, <laughs> somebody put that. Somebody in the mail. was in charge of that. So that's exciting. <laughs> it was exciting to yeah. know. Okay. How about how about this guy? This is one of my favorite things right here. I like that. That's a cute statue. No, this is a bookend mm -hmm. from 1956. Now I guess it, it would have came with a with a a double, you know, it would have been a pair. But even just to have one is pretty cool. Yeah, nowadays you usually don't find them together, you know. No. You usually just find one. I'm sure somebody out there has a pair. It's pretty neat. This thing's awesome. Oh gosh, don't we'll drop them. <laughs> See the back? Just the details, like on him, like the little guitar, his little his hair, he's got his curls. I mean, everything's so cool about it. It's pretty neat. It's awesome. <clears throat> it's awesome. It's not as awesome as the one thing that I've always wanted, though. What is it? The doll. Oh. There's an Elvis doll from 1957. I keep saying that, yeah. It, it doesn't look anything like Elvis. <laughs> I'll put a picture up of it. 
And that's what you want? I've wanted this thing my whole life. I'm like, I've, 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 I've like, I used to tell my dad, if I could just get that Elvis doll, then my, compl- my collection's complete. <laughs> I could just stop he, buying stuff. And he has you know? a lot of dolls. You have a lot of dolls. I have a lot of dolls, but I don't have the 1957, <laughs> the first d- doll that ever came out. Yeah, if you guys have not seen that video, please check that one yeah. out. We have but, the you know, doll video. But this is yes. like a close second to the doll, you know. This thing's awesome. Yeah. Well, I prefer statues <clears> to <throat> dolls. I'm not really into the whole doll. Yeah, thing. you know, <laughs> I I agree with you, but this doll is just, it's, it's rare and it's, it's awesome. It. <laughs> Even if it doesn't look like it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, God. There's also, there's some... Uh, some slippers oh, yeah. and some earmuffs. Talk about the slippers from from the from the eighties. And actually, we ran into the slippers. Somebody no, we had ran them. into the earmuffs. Oh, the earmuffs! I'm sorry, the earmuffs. Somebody but had they, them, but they wouldn't sell them. They wouldn't sell. Them. And then she ended up disappearing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it. yeah. This person that had them, they they disappeared, and now who knows where those earmuffs are? God, but uh, they're earmuffs so... with Elvis's face. Like I said, we'll we'll throw a photo up. I have not seen the slip. I think no. I've seen the slippers, but yeah. Remember back in like the eighties, yeah, when they used to have all those slippers with like heads on them. They probably had like Elf, kind of like the ones like we ran into. The which Smurfs. Were the, we we found Ronald, uh, Reagan. Ronald Reagan and Nancy <laughs> and Reagan. Nancy Reagan. Yeah, we sold a pair of those at our, <laughs> at our little <laughs> antique uh, shop. But uh, yeah, that was exciting. They sold fast too. I was surprised. Well, hey. Because I kept making fun of I'm like, nobody's going to buy these darn things. Oh, they bought them. Yeah. <laughs> they actually bought them. Yeah, yeah. Right. It was like that Ronald Reagan, like, remember the Phil Collins video oh, yeah, that yeah. he did, Land of Confusion? I love that song. Yeah. It kind of was like that, like, cartoonish looking. Yep. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. I wish I had those Elvis ones, though. Yeah, we, those would be cool. Yeah, those for sure. So, what do we have left? Did I, I, did I show this little card? Yes, I did. you did. I did. We just have the little... Let's show the Jeep. The little Jeep that you... Have. Now, this is not like Elvis Presley Enterprises. This is just made by uh, Tonka. <laughs> it's so cute. But uh, I'm, I'm not sure when this was made. The hubcaps are gone. I threw Elvis in there. That's actually <laughs> an Elvis Christmas ornament. A blue Hawaii one. I just threw him in there. I'm like, Elvis needs to be driving this thing. It's so cool. But uh, this is probably from the 60s, you know. But, you know, everybody knows, you know, Elvis had this pink Jeep at Graceland. You know, and I it, missing the hubcaps over here. It just reminds me of a Barbie Jeep. <laughs> right? But, you know, there's another place where they, they show this Jeep. Another place? Yes. In a movie that you want to watch. Don't tell me. Fun Acapulco. Fun in Acapulco. <laughs> the little right. boy. There's This Jeep is on the, the counter. Is it? Uh, at the hotel. No way. Yes, and the little boy <laughs> comes up and he kind of... Oh, my gosh. He rolls it around, yeah, so... I see that. I always liked that, you know. Maybe one day we'll get one that's in a little better condition. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, you know, back when my dad first toured Graceland, they used to let you sit in the Jeep. And take, oh, gosh. You used to be able to sit in there and take pictures. Yeah, somebody probably just had it mess it up for everybody. Yeah, somebody probably, <laughs> somebody got sick or did something in that Jeep. I don't know. Probably just vandalized. I don't know. <laughs> did something, right? Well, you know, and it's a good thing that we can't have people, like, for like 40 years, have people going, sitting in the Jeep, sitting in the Jeep, wearing it out. Well, see, that's why I'm afraid of the plane. For yeah. Lisa Marie's yeah. um, plane, because you see what they were doing to the mattresses. I mean, it's very sad that they're already tearing up the... Yeah, that's the thing about the plane is such a tight space. So I mean, so much traffic. You're able to touch the bed. You're able to touch the chairs. Yeah, it's unfortunate that. But it's so cool just to just to be in there. It's you can't. can't They might have to get better covers. I think so. Unfortunately, they might have to put like a plexiglass glass cover over that bed or something. Yeah. Because people are tearing the. uh, The They're tearing the 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 foam out of the bed. Whatever it is, I mean, on the Lisa Marie. It's very sad that they're doing that. Yep. But uh, what, what, we have one more thing on the we have table. One more thing on the table, and I believe it's this one. Yeah, this thing's pretty neat. Let's see. This was like a giveaway back when uh, Blue Hawaii came out. That is a. The lay, right? That is a lay. That's really neat. I put it. I put it in a frame just to protect it. 
But yeah. Unfortunately, because it's in the frame, you don't get to see what the back of it says. But what I'll do is uh, I'll go on the internet and I'll find a photo and I'll, I'll throw it up there so you can see what the other side looks like. But yeah, that's pretty cool. This usually hangs up on the wall next to like our movie posters. No. Yeah. Movie posters are so cool. Yeah. So that I think those are the ones that obviously we can't bring down a show. Right. Because <laughs> it'll be too hard. But you know, my, my favorite, of course, clam bake. You were the clam bake. <laughs> did, did somebody say did somebody say clam bake? Clam bake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my well, gosh. Well that was a, sh a, a small preview, yeah. I should say. Like I said, we do have other items, but I just thought these were like these neat, are pretty neat cool. items and these uh are all cool to show. Yeah. It's just hard to, to get them all on video. Well, you know, when I first started we'll collecting be here all day. <laughs> be here forever. Well, when I first started collecting Mari, like I would basically buy anything that had Elvis's face on it. Yeah. You know, like it's, it didn't matter what it was. And so, yeah, I, I know you get a lot of remarks like, you are know. these actually like cheap things? Some people that you're say, buying, oh, so a lot of this stuff oh, you have is cheap. It's like, it's well, like I from do have. Etsy, and I'm like, yeah. but I don't, you know, I, half of the stuff you said you actually bought like at Graceland. Like, yeah, I bought a cross from Graceland in the old old gift shops. And, so, I mean, most of this stuff is not, right. obviously. But, not, but over the years, as I, you know, accumulated a ton of Elvis stuff. Yeah. You know, I, I've decided, like, this, the stuff I want to focus on yeah. is the stuff from when he was alive. Yeah. Or the stuff from right after he passed, you know. Yeah. Like, and, the, the liquor no, decanters. But, but even still, yeah, we're not collecting stuff from Etsy. We go to the Goodwill. We go, you know, to yeah. thrift. We do a lot of thrifting. We go to garage sales. We go to estate sales. And sometimes we get lucky. Like, there's, like, you mentioned, remember you found that, um, was it the menu? That you bought in a state sale? So yeah, I yeah. I got they a actually attended? Yeah, from the, the Hilton Hotel yeah. uh, from one of Elvis's shows. So so I just got the menu maybe about six months ago. Yeah. And uh, I paid probably $10 for it. Yeah, so. and that person actually attended that. That's yeah, it's awesome. Pretty neat. So, I mean, we get lucky with some kind of items, but um, yeah, you never know what we'll, we'll yeah. pop up with next. <laughs> I, I, but, you know, back in the day... I would find stuff all the time, you know, at the thrift store, and it's it's harder and harder it's to find. It's getting harder now, and now that he's more popular too, yeah, yeah. it's kind of hard to find yeah. certain items. But but always un unfortunately, as you know, some of those fans from the fifties and sixties yeah. mm -hmm. you know get older and pass on. There's oh, now there's wow. these giant collections that end up, you know, they're like, "What do we do with yeah. this collection?" You know, so. <laughs> and then you got some people just saying that you took all the collections. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I just, I took everything. They were like, yeah. oh, everything, might as well go to Adam's. Yeah, yeah. They're like, does this guy share, you know, <laughs> share some of that memorabilia? No, and I like the, I like to see the comments and some comments are cute when they're asking us if we can actually do like tours. Yeah, I'd, I'd love, <laughs> to, love to do I'd it. I'd love to do that. Oh, Mari, well, hello. Come, come on in. Man. Hi there. You know? It's just, I don't think we have the means right now. I think it's just, uh. Yeah. Well, because we would like more, and we wanted to be more spacious, right? Well, so, someday I'd, we'd like to find a place where we can display the memorabilia. Showcase, yeah. yeah. And so. where it's more spread out. and Yeah. Because although our house is a good size, I think we still could space the stuff out yeah. more. We just yeah. have... Just it's have still, we have like piles of Elvis stuff. That but, we don't yeah. show. So. Like I said, we've never been to the porch. We've never done the porch. Um, there's a lot of cool things in there, too, that people have not seen. Yeah. Yeah. One of these days, you guys will see the porch <laughs> with the uh, the shellac Elvises and the uh, velvet Elvises. Yes. The velvet are the ones that a lot yeah. of people... People love the velvet love Elvis, the velvet. right? I do, too. They're so cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, that was fun, right? That was fun. Yes. Well, I like doing these type of videos because you get to show parts of your collection that we don't get to talk about yeah. all the time and it's hard to do that yeah so. it's hard to do that in one long video it is <laughs> so we could do these you know shorter videos where we can just focus on a few things yes yeah, so and i guess if you guys have any questions about the items we show please feel free to leave it in the comments yeah, if and you know we don't we don't even know everything about these items. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> you if guys might if, have more information if, about them. <laughs> yeah, if we mentioned anything that was wrong, let us know. Yes. So yeah, it's always nice to to find out what everything is. Well, yeah, I mean, you have to admit there's other people who were actually born, be, you know, before us, and right. 
Uh, we appreciate their knowledge. Yeah, their input. Yeah. So thank you very much. Uh, please like and subscribe and, you know, comment. Let us know what you think. Share. Yes. Share. Yes. We appreciate you guys as always. Um, and yeah, and sharing our videos would be awesome to get us, hopefully, to other Elvis fans. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Help us grow our channel. So thank you so much. We truly appreciate you guys. Yeah. Until we meet again. You guys, take care. Adios. You said I was your